Ram came there and he said, Kevat, can you please take us across? He says, I will not take you. Lakshman got extremely annoyed. Lakshman tensed his bow. You? Kevat said, Ram, why is your brother having such rowdy behavior? <laughs> Ram started laughing. This boatman, Kevat, is one of the most Rangila Patras of the Ram Katha. राम चंद्र की नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग राम सीता वो कप दे डिड देयर मॉर्निंग एब्लूशन एंड प्रोसीडेड टू द गंगा तट न देर दे वॉज अ बोट एंड अ बोट मैन सिटिंग ऑन इट दिस बोट मैन केवट is one of the most rangila patras of the ram katha so ram came there and he said kevat can you please take us across kevat kept sitting he knows that ram is bhagwan the whole tribe knows but he is not willing to get up and he is challenging god he says i will not take you ram i know your marm your secret ram was astonished that big big personalities jag pe khan tum dekh n hare vidhi hari shambhu na chavan hare te hu na janai marm tumhara और तुम ही को जान निहारा शंकर ब्रह्मा विष्णु डोंट अंडरस्टैंड यू सो हाउ इज दिस केवट सेइंग दैट आई फुल्ली अंडरस्टैंड यू तो केवट सेड आई हैव गॉट द न्यूज दैट योर फुट फेल ऑन द स्टोन शिला एंड द शिला गॉट ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड इनटू अ ऋषि पत्नी दिस हैज कम टू मी my boat is not as hard as a shila it is made of soft wood if your feet fall on my boat and my boat becomes a street what will i do i don't have any other means of livelihood all i know is boating if my boat is lost then my livelihood is gone and if she becomes a ordinary bhilni it is all right but if she becomes rishi patni Then she will have her own nakharas. हम तो पानी को छान के पिएंगे हम तो ऐसा ही खाएंगे How will I bear with her? Besides, I have already got a wife. How will I take care of her? She will say, "You make a separate hut for me." So, if you want me to take you across, first I need to wash your feet and check them out. That nothing is going to happen to my boat. And I am not going to ask you Prabhu please let me wash your feet You are too used to people requesting 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 Your habits have got spoiled You are going to request me Kevat please come and wash my feet Only then will I take you across And look Ram if that is not acceptable to you you can go down stream about 100 yards out there the water is little shallow so you can try to wade across the ganga but let me tell you it is very risky you should only do it if you know how to swim and i know that you don't know how to swim tum taarna jante ho tairna nahi jante so if you don't ask me to wash your feet I take a kasam on the name of Dashrath I am not going to take you across 
now kevar took a vow on the name of dashrath and lakshman got extremely annoyed lakshman tensed his bow you what do you mean by taking the, my father's name kevar said ram why is your brother having such rowdy behavior is this the way to ask you want to ask me to take you across and you are showing this force and dhamki it's not going to work out here look listen lakhan if you like you can kill me but remember when i die my wife is going to come running and your heart will melt and there is no pandit out here to do the antyashti kriya so you and ram will have to wait here and participate in the antyashti kriya and the shav yatra Lakshman quickly put his arrow back. Such gadbad mamla out here. Ram started laughing. So seeing Ram laugh, Sita was pleased that look at least he is happy out here. Kevat has made him happy. Ram was laughing that Sita and Lakshman were fighting to do his charan seva because. Before marriage, Lakshman used to do the charan seva. After marriage, that seva came to Sita. So Lakshman was extremely sad, and one day he expressed his sorrow to Ram. So Ram said, "Here's the solution. When Holi comes, Sita will ask all the devas, 'What do you want?' So at that time, you say, 'I want Ram's charan seva.'" So Sita went around asking, and when she came to Lakshman, Lakshman whispered in her ear, "I want Ram's charan seva." And moment Sita heard that, she fainted and fell there. So there was ha ha kar in the darbar. What happened? Everybody said it's Lakshman's fault. What did you tell her? Ram asked, "What did you tell her?" "Arey bhai sahab, what you said that is what I told her that I want your charan seva." Ram said that you should have said I want one charan seva, not both. So he whispered again in her ear, and Sita came back to consciousness. So this is how Sita and Lakshman have resolved the problem. Ram is saying here, Kevat is getting charan seva of both. So Ram said, "All right, Kevat, please come and wash my feet." Now Kevat got up. Until then, he had not even gotten up. So after getting up, he came straight to where Ram was standing, and he continued walking past. Ram said, "Where are you going?" He said, "Look, Ram, any shubh karya must be done with the wife. I am going to call my wife so that together we will wash your feet." So Ram said, "All right, please hurry up." Kevat now went to his wife and he said, "Look, good news. Where this Ganga originates from? That Ram is here, and he's asked me to wash his feet. So we must do the shubh karya together." The wife panicked. She said, "I don't have any vessel of gold or silver. I don't even have vessel of copper." Kevat said, "Don't you bother. We will wash his feet in a wooden vessel." because there is advantage it will soak his charan amrit and we'll be able to preserve it so now kevat came along with his wife he put the vessel on the ground and he asked ram to put his feet there so ram put his feet and ram said please hurry up the so kevat is merrily washing his feet there and he has become so must that the vessel is going little topsy turvy The so Ram is also shaking like this. The so Ram is saying, "Boy, Kevat, I will fall off. Please let me have my balance." Kevat said, "Maharaj, if you are having a little balance problem, you put your hands on my head so you can balance very well." <laughs> Lakshman said, "That is a very good upay. At least he'll get some sense in his head. Please do it." So Ram is now standing, and Kevat is nicely washing. Finally, he was contented. Work done. So he dried Ram's feet with his cloth, and Ram took his feet out. Ram said, "Now, please take us across." 
Kevad said, wait, wait, wait. I have to share this Charana Amrit with everybody. So he asked everybody to line up. All the villagers stood in line. Akala Mithyu Haranam Sarvabhyadi Nivaranam Shri Rama Padutakam Pitva Shirasa Dharayam Yam. The Sita said to Lakshman, let us also stand in line and get the Charana Amrit. Lakshman said, we are from Ragukul. It is below our status to ask. Please give. Sita said, this asking parampara has been started by Prabhu himself. So he has asked, Kevat, please take us across. Please uh, wash my feet. So what is the harm in us asking? So Lakhan and Sita also stood in line and they took the charanam. Ram said, all right, Baba, now will you take us across? Kevat said, look. Your number is in the line. When your number comes, I will take you across. Ram said, who else is there in the line? Kevat said, all my Purvaj, my ancestors, out here we did not have any Pandit. We did not have anybody to do the Antesti Kriya, Antim Sanskar. Now you are here. Vasish must have taught you some Ved Mantras. So please, you need to help me do Tarpant for all my ancestors. Lakshman caught his head again. What all is he going to make us do? So nevertheless, there was no other option. So Ram said, all right, you pour the water. He took a ghada, he started pouring the water into the Ganga. And Lakshman and Ram are reciting mantras. Finally, when that tarpan was over, now Kevat said, All right, please come into my boat. So, Ram, Lakshman, and Sita, they came, and Guharaj requested if he could also come along. He also came and sat. So, Kevat is merrily taking them. He took the boat to the other side, but before they reached the bank, he turned it around. And then before they reached the first bank, he turned it around. And then again turned it around and again turned it around. So after they had done it four or five times, Lakshman said to Ram, has he lost his way? The Ram said, Kevat, we are getting tired. Why don't you take us in the shortest way? Kevat said, Maharaj, you have been taking us round and round in Bhavsagar, in Charasi Lak, and you don't think we are exhausted, and you are exhausted in four or five rounds. <laughs> but tell me one thing Did Kaike give you a tithi that on this date you have to be here, in this date you have to be here? If not, then stay here for one week. And I am not taking any Uttarai, I am not taking any fare from you because you are a tapasvi, I want to do punya. Everybody wants to serve some tapasvi and earn some punya. So in your tapasvi vesh, I am doing it free for you. Lakshman said, what have you not made us done that you are talking about fare now? Finally, Kevad has his heart's content and he brought the boat to the other side. And now, when they got off the boat, Kevat came and fell at the feet of Ram. So this is the first time he does pranam. He must have thought that if I do pranam before, then I will probably have to listen to him. So let me get all the work done. So Ram felt embarrassed that he has taken me across and I have got nothing to give him. Sita understood Ram's bhav and she took the mudrika and gave it to Ram. So Ram was offering that when Kevat started crying. Kevat said, Natha aju me kahu na pava. Mite Dukha Dosha Daridra Dava Maharaj, I have got everything today. So, Kevat said, Nevertheless, if you wish to give me, 
I will ask for two things. The first is, you are a malla like me. The only difference is that I am a malla of Ganga Tat, and you are a malla of Bhav Sagar. So, when I die. And I meet you at that time, you take me across the Bhavsar. So, nevertheless, he said, when you return from the forest, at that time, if you meet me, whatever you give at that time, I will accept it. So, Ram, Sita, Lakshman, and Guharaj, they progressed from there 